is Julian Reyes live from Austin Streets. We're finding out what's going on with the homeless today. Here we are at Lamar 71290 and Ben White and there's a halo cam up there it's not really a halo cam it's just a point tilt zoom camera but it's similar to the halo cams we've got road crews in here not sure who it's tech stuff but the APD is down in here too. I know that there's homeless that live in this area of town uh, under the shelter of the bridge, which is actually a highway department property. The city doesn't have any uh, actual jurisdiction since they didn't build it, they didn't fund it. And if the city, if the highway people don't want people in there, you know, number 1877 trucks. And they're uh, probably in there, I don't know what they're doing. But the policeman's there to. Um, control and mess with the homeless. This whole area here is uh, basically an unused land and the uh, homeless have occupied it. There's a no parking sign up in there. No parking zone. Go follow them. What do you think I should do? Follow or not follow? I mean, outside of dogs, my number one uh, thing to protect is the homeless. And of course, women. Uh, anyone that's defenseless or uh, weaker than you or poorer than you or has less legal rights than you, I mean, not less legal rights, less legal access to uh, defense than you, those are, the, those are the most helpless among us. And those are my, my priorities, not in that order. And so when I see something over here happening in these this little uh, zero escaped area and the, under this concrete um, and I know that homeless live in the area uh, I'm probably going to be um, let's see here. so there you go there's your row of no parking signs that's what it looks like from this side here's where I first viewed the uh, police officer and two TxDOT trucks two white trucks one of them had a trailer behind it we're gonna go uh, take a look I'm not sure they're, oh there they are, they're in front of me. Uh, looks like they in front of me. I don't see the other APD officer. Uh, this, this rock area is so that people can't lay down because it's not comfortable to put some rocks in here. And, um, but, you know, you could still put, uh, you know, a cardboard, pallet, uh, blanket. You can put other things, uh, stack them, and it won't be so bad. See what up there? in the median again right there let's see a trailer out in that one um, I'm not sure if there's any enterprising homeless usually the homeless have standard areas that they gather we're gonna take a right let's see what's going on yeah one eight one eight seven seven got some homeless here there's a homeless handicapped person. And the cops are rousing the homeless. It's ridiculous. There's no place to park over here. I can park somewhere and walk over. Um, and I can intervene. And I might just, because this guy needs to know. I'm going to tell him. Hey man, APD and TxDOT are moving the homeless under the bridges right now, so if you get your stuff anywhere, they're right behind me. So he appreciated that. He really appreciated that.
these eyes got really big. These guys know what's up. This happens regularly. This isn't an irregular thing where handicapped, veterans, uh, minorities, the poor, all of them poor. If you're not poor, you're not living on the streets, trust me. Rich people don't have to live on the streets. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is what's going on. I feel like I should intervene. Uh, at least slow them down and ask uh, some questions. Uh, I can't really stop them from doing what they're doing. Um, my video might one day if they do something really bad, but right now they're just depressing and people are okay with some kinds of oppression because they figure if you're poor you deserve it or if you're, you're disabled you deserve it. Or there's actually people out there that are Christians uh, who believe in prosperity. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Prosperity preaching, um, prophecy, prosperity, prosperity prophecy, where they believe the Bible tells them that that, that uh, you need to be rich, and I would say that's bull. Um, that uh, Jesus actually wanted us to be poor um, or meek at least. somebody so there they are over there so I'm on my way to get tacos good organic vegan tacos that end in about I don't know 10 20 minutes probably and uh, over at Wheatsville which I'm an owner I'm a member owner whatever you call it um, and what happens I see oppression and um, I can't go by. Um, I'm, I'm not that hungry. I ate yesterday. I ate some tortillas before bed, so I'm not that hungry. But I want to go interview a cop. I want to. The, the mayor's office has promised me that this is not what's going to happen. That uh, policing is not the way to deal with the homeless, and that they're going to try. They've told the mayor's off. Mayor has told the entire city he's going to end homelessness right away. Apparently what I'm told. I don't watch the news, but that's what uh, one of the police officers I interviewed said at the, at the homeless center. She told me that uh, while she was ticketing the homeless, she told me that uh, I should go talk to the mayor, that the mayor wants to talk to me. And so I said, okay, let's do it. And that I should articulate my answers over there. Well, that's what I did, and the mayor's not really uh, talking yet. He said he'll be talking here in a couple uh, months. Uh, or a month and a half now, I guess, but uh, I'm not interested in that nonsense. I'm interested in uh, direct action uh, until I get my results. Um, most people could wait their whole lifetime for oppression to end and for things to get right in America. Most people could wait their entire lives. I can't wait. The cop's in motion. Hopefully he's not running away from me because I want to talk to him. This is Julian Reyes live from Austin Streets. We're finding out what's going on with the homeless today. And I'm winded. A little early for running in the morning. Are you yeah, just documenting public. How are you, sir? Are you? What's your name? What's your uh, your name, sir? Bar. Barbosa. 3084? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Uh, I just was driving by, winded. I was driving by and I saw a man in a wheelchair. Yeah, they, they gave him a ride over there. Who? Uh, some people, some a white guy and a black guy. Just who, random people? No. no? I don't, they helped the homeless along the big wide <coughs> area. I don't know what their name is. I helped the homeless too. But I have no idea who they are. First murder man, they're going to give him a ride over there because you can't get across here because of the occurrence. Yeah, he's very uh, impaired. I mean, you know, mobility impaired. Yeah, oh, he is. Was he a veteran? No. No? Yeah, I was just, uh, is this the Easter Seals cleanup or? No, this is the Tech Stock cleanup. Tech Stock cleanup? Yeah. Not the Easter Seals this time. No, sir. Yeah. It's Tech Stock, Tech Stock property. I warned the guy in the next the next area uh, as I was driving around. There's a guy panhandling. I warned him, and he was very thankful. His 
size got really big, he's like, he knows what's up. Like, because this kind of stuff happens regularly. Yeah, it has to happen. Wouldn't it be easier to warn them in, a, in advance like I did so they can gather stuff and get out before, rather I than do. throwing I stuff away? I go by in the morning. You do? Okay. I went by this morning. Good. Oh, well, you're still asleep. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm up late. <laughs> I was interviewing the chief yesterday oh, at that shooting, you know. So, um, and then I had to edit my own video. I don't have a whole team doing my work. Yeah. Um, well, I was up early this morning. So, the thing is, so what we got going on today? <laughs> still going. We're still trucking on. We're doing the same thing we're going to do. We're going to finish up. We're almost done. What, it, what is it called? Does it have a program name? No, what? Like a program name? Like uh, Operation Cleanup? No, uh, no under this, the bridge? Is, this is a TxDOT cleanup. Yeah. Do you guys dot, have a name for your Tex dot thing? TxDOT does cleanup. Under the bridge cleanup? Just like standard thing. Man, I come out here to keep the peace. Make sure nobody harasses them or because we've had in the past where people have actually threatened them. After they try to steal their stuff, yeah. But what, what do you do? I mean, you know. Uh, in homelessness. So I'm in, I'm in, yeah, I'm in contact with uh, the mayor's office, and yeah. he says that he doesn't want the, the homeless situation to be one of ticketing and arrests and warrants, that he wants to end homelessness. Well, I agree. And it needs to be done. So we're, I'm trying to rethink this whole thing, and I'm not the kind of person that drives by and doesn't stop. Like those people. Yeah, I, I yeah, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Next time, we're we'll fixing to leave. Uh -huh. Don't run across traffic like that. There's no crosswalk. I understand that. How'd you get here? I parked right here. And you parked illegally. So yeah, yeah everybody's breaking illegal. laws just to help the homeless, right? I hate to see you get hit. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna get hit. I appreciate your concern though. Just be careful. Oh, I'm okay, always careful. careful. Yeah. Well, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, where y'all head? Uh, probably Westgate. Westgate. Uh, this no, way. Right over there. No, down Ben White. Westgate more. Okay, well, he's cleaning up anyways. Can you help you? Yeah, just documenting public. How are you, sir? Pretty good. What's your name? What's your uh, your name, sir? Bar. Barbosa. 3084? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Uh, I just was driving by. I'm winded. I was driving by and I saw a man in a wheelchair. Yeah. They, they gave him a ride over there. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.